We're here at the Brown Palace Hotel where Ariana Huffington is throwing a party and panel discussion. We ran into Harry Shearer and even Chevy Chase, who doesn't come out much. We're here to, you know, go to the convention, see friends, be around people. And, you know. Have you been to other conventions past, or is this uh, a special? I, yeah. I was at the Goldwater Miller Convention. How's that? 1964. What's the vibe of this one? Do you feel it's different? Oh yeah, this is terrific. Yeah, and there's no question. This is a, this is a big moment. It, Real well, change. Why is it so close in the polls? Uh, because the media wants it to be. It's my fault now. Well, you know perfectly well why. That's why. I mean, I mean it polls. What polls are you speaking of? It depends on whose polls and what media wants to make it close. That's what they did to Hillary and Barack. What did you make of Michelle's speech? I thought it was very good. I thought she's, uh, I think she's terrific. And I thought that she hit all the right notes and uh, I think she's, she's great. Well, it changes everything about the, the way we work. Uh, stand first, up. Stand up. That's not going to help that much. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mayor has been amazing. You know, he's put so much into this convention and uh, all the little touches of giving you water at the checkpoints and making you feel welcome at every place have worked. I think at the convention we needed more checkpoints because it takes an hour, an hour and a half sometimes to just go through the security line. I think that's a function of the convention organizing. And compared to conventions past, how does this feel to you as far as a democratic rally? I think it, there's this, an incredible sense of excitement about the historic moment, but the party hasn't yet completely come together. There are still um, Clinton supporters who are holding back, and that's very present. I don't think that's a media fabrication, that's real. I really think people realize that celebrities don't make the difference. I mean, not even Bruce Springsteen made the difference in 04. And it doesn't get bigger than that. So I don't think it's about them thinking they can make the difference. It's more about them being here because they want to be here. I think the Democratic Party made a big mistake in not selecting New Orleans. I know why they made this selection, because Colorado is a state in play and Louisiana isn't. But I think it could have made a statement about the role of government the Democrats' view of that as opposed to the Republicans' view of that, and the city stands there as a statement about that. Also, I think people would have had a better time, personally, but I'm a New Orleanian. John McCain has uh, taken the infusion of Rovian disciples into his uh, camp and followed their, their lead of um, attacking the opponent's strength. He's popular, we'll attack him for being popular. And the uh, Obama campaign, surprising to me, uh, let the candidate go on vacation, didn't appoint, uh, didn't name a vice presidential uh, running mate to be the attack dog during the time he was in Hawaii, so they went basically silent. And uh, I think they got complacent. And now, you know, I think they're rerunning the Kerry convention where Kerry went around and excised any criticism of Bush out of all the speeches, you know. They're having a, a, a very soft focus convention and not really emphasizing what's wrong with these people they're running against. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy days. I know two hours is a long time. By now, you would have been halfway through the checkpoint security line outside the Pepsi Center. With YouTube and the, the amount of video that we receive on a daily basis, um, a lot of people want to learn about issues or have their, their ideas expressed in a new way. And we're just giving them platform and stage to do that. And, um, and really, for the first time, in a way to interact with the different things we've been able to do in the past, ways to interact with the, the candidates directly, learn about what they're about. I think it adds some level of, uh, of, of uh, I, I guess, reality to, to some of the things they may just read about in the papers. Actually hearing it um, directly from the candidate itself, it adds a, a different dimension, which I think adds a lot of value to, to the voters' experience. I'm feeling a good vibe. It, just, it seems like uh, a lot of people are, are passionate in this year's election. And I do think it has somewhat, somewhat to do with it, the technology because people have more access to information more than ever. Uh, they're more um, informed. And, uh, and you're, I think you're starting to see that here. So that's it from the Huffington Post panel discussion. I'm Marco Della Cava for The Political Party.
Barack Obama, Barack Obama, Obama, Barack Obama, Barack Obama, and Barack Obama. This message is sponsored by Swift Kids for Truth. <laughs>